Yea, the stars are not pure in his sight. Even the stars are pure in God's sight, man. Even the stars, right? And everybody glorify the stars. Hey, hey man, worship the stars. And stars are not even clean in God's sight. How much less man? What did the Lord say? How, How much, much less, less man? man? How much less is man? Right? Man is nothing before the Lord, man. Right? Read the Lord. Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. No! Jesus Christ, no. No, Jesus Christ. Guns, oil, and drugs. That's y'all God, right? Guns, oil, and drugs. Okay. With whose beauty, if they be delighted, took them to be God. Uh -huh. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. Hey, the most lies better than all these people, man. Hey, y'all shot my shot is better than all these people, man. Right. For the first author of beauty has created them. All right. But if they were astonished at their power. Do like, y'all believe in God? Yeah. Jesus Christ? No. Why not? Uh, Let's talk about it. Let's dialogue. I, I believe in God to an extent. I uh -huh. believe the universe was probably created by some entity with powers. If there is a God and if he's listening, I would just What? Um, it hasn't worked for me. I, I, I tried finding God a long time ago. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Yeah. Because a lot of people yeah. say the same thing. Yeah. I tried finding God, right? I see the universe. I see all these different things. And we got to understand something. How did it get you? How did, how, did, how did everything get you? Did it kind of just pop up? Right, we'll read it. Read the Book of Romans. Chapter 1 in verse 20. All right. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world. The creation of the world, you know, are clearly seen. Are what? Are, are clearly, clearly seen. seen. God's works are clearly seen. But man is so simple that they still can't even understand if there's a God or not. Read on. Be understood by the things that are made. Right, being understood by the things that are made. You got the trees, you got the wind, you got the water, everything's in a perfect cycle. You got the human cycle, you got the water cycle, you got the air cycle, the wind cycle, the seasons all come in the same. Nothing changes, but man still questions if there's a God or not. You know what? Even his eternal power and God, right? So that they are without excuse. What the Lord say? So oh, that they are without excuse. In that day, you're gonna be without excuse, man. Saying you don't know if there's a God or not, but we see everything's in a natural order. Right? There's no excuse to say there's a God. We know there's a God. It's obvious, it's not science. You know Because that they do not because that when they do God, uh, they glorify them not as God. And, and a lot of people they think they know God, but they don't glorify him as God. They say the universe, they say the world, they say Mother Nature, Father Time, but they don't glorify the God of the Bible and, and, and give him his credit. Because all these things are going to see the God. What's your question? What made you take all this so serious? All this I mean, like, you know, if you were brought, if, if that's what you were brought up with, if that's what it said, if something happened, then you're like, oh my God, I can take care of this right now. I got you. Right? Yeah. We'll go to Isaiah 58. Right? Go to Exodus chapter 5 and verse 3. Right? I gotta show, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you. Right, because right now, this, this is not a religion, right? It's not something that we just believe in. This is our nationality. This is our culture. This is our heritage. Yeah. All right, this is why we're here. All right, go to Psalm 17, 11, read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Right. Cry aloud. Right. Spare not. Right. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And show my people their transgression. Are you going to listen to your question? Are you going to listen no, to your question? No, I am. I am. I'm oh, okay. Because right? well. the Lord said, that's, that's why we take it so seriously, because the Lord gave us a commandment to show our people our transgressions. We're at the bottom of society right now because we broke God's commandments a long time ago. And the Lord gave us a strict commandment and told us to stop here until our people are. I'll read that. Book inside right, chapter 17, verse 11. Right. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. Uh huh. In the law of life for inheritance. So God gave us knowledge in the law of life for inheritance. And then he also told us to come, uh, come out here and tell our people they were, of course, the Bible. That's why we have to take this. If we don't, we don't get the kingdom of heaven. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. All right. No, you're good. 
security guards at the gates. All right, read on. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12, 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Israel. Everybody can get the kingdom. The 12, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Israel. There's 12, there's a, a name for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. These will be the children of Israel today. The 12 tribes. So if y'all see yourself on the sun, then y'all can get the kingdom. If you don't, then hey, it is what it is. Christianity was weak. We don't. 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 We don't.
buy some Chinese in here. Chinese, Indian, Japanese. Where the hell is it? Right, Indian. Right. We're not. We're not black. We're not the color of my jacket. There's no nation called. There's no nation called black. I can't go to American Airlines and say, "Can I get a ticket for black?" It doesn't make sense. Right. We're not. We're not two, two continents at one time. We're not, we're not these different things, man. We are the visual. That's our nationality. That's, that's our heritage. Right. right? So, no, we, we don't believe in religion. Right? That's, that's, that's why we answer your first question. That's why we're out. That's why we take this so seriously. Right? Because we fell away from our heritage. Right? What did Jeremiah say? We fell away from our heritage. Right? Now, now, now our people are into guns, drugs, right? They're in the hoods. They're in all these different things. But we out here to tell our people they're kings and uh, princes back on the earth, man. And that the kingdom of heaven is only forever. Right, Rita? Book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. So God said his people will discontinue from his heritage. You know that I give thee, All right? I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. To do what? To serve thy, thy enemies. enemies. And the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans right now, they're serving their enemies right now. You know what? The land which thou knowest not. And we don't know this Native Americans. Now we grow here by force, right? But God said to serve our enemies. You know what? For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, right? Which will burn forever. And that's gonna burn forever. But hold on. When the kingdom of heaven is established, we're back in our rightful place as rulers. There's a place for y'all. What are Isaiah chapter 1 says? It's the last verse. Isaiah chapter 1 says, Thou shalt be as a great book. The Bible. Right, the, um, the Catholic Bible has eight books. Right, the Protestant Bible for Martin Luther is fifteen forty-two. Without that, those books. All right. Bye. All right. So, yeah. So those are the eight books. All right, those are the missing fourteen books out of the Bible. The Book of Isaiah, chapter fourteen and verse one. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob right. and will yet choose Israel. Right. Set them in their own land. The Lord's gonna choose the Israelites at the end of the day to set them back in their own land. We're gonna cross the way called America. You know what? And the strangers in the who? And, and the, the strangers. strangers will be known as a stranger. Right? You know what? Shall be joined with them. And you're gonna be with us in the kingdom of heaven. You know what? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Y'all gonna cleave to the house of Jacob. Y'all gonna financially everything depend on us. You know what? And the people shall take them. No, we're gonna ask them. The people shall so take, take them, them. Take, the, take the nation of people, right, you know what? and bring them to their place. And we're going to bring y'all to the land of Israel. Right? So you need to do your own research. You know, you kind of tell your mom and dad. Right? 
There it goes. Side me. Or say, there it goes. Side, side me. I like to talk about my religion. Well, I like to talk about what I, what I, what I learned. So nobody wants to give a damn what you learned, Islam. Right? Ain't damn God got eight, eight arms, man. Right? Yay! There is no God. Lord say, yay! There is no God. There's no other God, man. You know what? I know, I know not any. And how about Shemir Shah? He doesn't know the other gods, man. Right. right. He's, I'm up there alone, man. Huh? Right. There's another god. You gotta introduce him to him. Right. I don't know who he is, man. Read that. Man. The book of Baruch, chapter 6 and verse 12. Right. No. Yet cannot these gods save themselves, the Lord said. Yet yeah. cannot these gods God save themselves. These gods can't save themselves, man. These gods are, yeah, these gods are weak, man. They can't save not a damn thing. You know what? From rust and mugs, right? They that be covered with purple raiment, they wipe their face because of the dust of the temple. And you gotta kinda clean off, hey, I, hey them damn instruments gotta clean off the rock. They gotta get the wind decks, gotta kinda, damn, damn, God, what's wrong with you? Right, right, it's all magic, you know what? When there is much upon them, uh -huh. and he cannot put to death one that offended him. Uh -huh. And these guys can't put to death one that offends. We did step on on the unholy Quran, right? Spit on that damn rock, and Cut! guess what? Ain't hey, none of them came to defend themselves. That's right. They right. couldn't do a damn thing, man. All these death threats, right? Hey, I ain't here now for one uh, damn hour. What, what are you here? I'm still here. Well, I'm still, I'm still here, man. Right? What a big rock gonna come out the sky and crush me, right? Where, where is he at, man? I'm standing on the damn rock, man. Cut! And he that cannot put to death one that offended him, right? Holding a scepter, a scepter, scepter, as though he were the judge of the country. Uh -huh. He that also hath in his right hand a dagger and an axe, but cannot deliver himself from the war indeed. And can't, can't deliver himself from the war, man. We are at war with the Ishmaelites, we are at war with the Ammonites, the damn Japhites. We are at war with all these different gods, but they can't deliver themselves from the war. Right? You know what? Whereby they are known not to be God. They are what? They are yeah, not no. to be God. They are known not to be gods, man. Right? Read on. Therefore, fear them not. Fear them what? Fear, fear them, them not. not. Oh, we got some scared of them. Fear, fear them, them not. Ishmael said, come out here. Fear, fear them, them not. not. Hey, fear them not. We don't give a damn who you are, man. Right. right. We're going to be out here today. We're going to be out here tomorrow. And what y'all shall say in the third day, we're going to be perfected. Right? Read on. Read that. Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13 and verse 2. Right? Oh. But these. Either fire or wind, or the swift air, or the circle like, of the stars, or the mighty water, or the light of heaven, to be the gods which govern the world. And they think, the, and they think the lights, the moon, all these different things to be the gods that govern the world. Man, they are completely lost. All right, read on. With you, whose beauty, if they be delighted, took them to be gods. All right, let them know. How much better the Lord them is. And they gotta know how much better the Lord them is, man. If you worship the stars, if you worship the sun, and if you worship the sky, damn, why not worship the creator that created all these different things? You understand how much the, uh, how much better the Lord them is, man. Right? You worship the trees, they worship the lion heads, right? These people didn't worship themselves, man. Right? Understand that they are for the first author of beauty has created them. Uh-huh. But they were astonished at their power and virtue, right? Let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. And how much mightier the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshua made them, huh? Read on. For by the greatness and beauty of the creature, of the creators, proportionably the maker of them to see. Uh -huh. But yet, for this, they are blessed to be blamed. For they, for adventure, error, Seeking God, no, they do no. what? No. For this no. they fear, fear, no. fear, fear, adventure, error, seeking God. They err seeking the most side, man. They don't know how to seek the most side, man. They err, man. That's right. Right? They don't know what. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do, man. Right? They don't know where to look. Right? You know what? Cyrus to find them, right? For being, for being conversant. Works. They come. They converse in the most high's words, man. Hey, brother with the nice gray hat. What's going on, King? You believe in God? You do? You got 30 seconds for one scripture of Jesus Christ if you believe in him? Oh, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. Hey, you gotta separate two from the so-called white woman. That's right. Jesus Christ not dealing with her. That's right. Yeah, you. The hot chocolate. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> stop. Just gonna stop real quick. Yeah. Brother, we know you love Jesus Christ. We know you love Jesus Christ. One scripture. Damn, one. Come on, man. Each. The power of the white woman. Go to Proverbs 6 and 23. Damn, these women. Verse 7, to be conversant in his works, they search him diligently and believe their sight because the things are beautiful that are seen. I'm to drop that. I ain't gonna vex my damn spirit, man. We gotta get all these women, man. All right, and damn chopping Jake. Go to Sirach chapter 9 and verse 1, man. Go to Sirach chapter 9 and verse 1, man. Jake just happy. He's just happy, man. No damn reason. Read that. Proverbs 6 and 23. It's the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. Right? No. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, right? And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. You know? To keep thee from, from the evil woman. What the Lord say? To keep, keep thee from, from, from the evil, evil woman. Why keep yourself from the evil woman? Huh? Why say can't keep yourself from the evil woman? You know what? From the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, right? Lust not after her beauty. The Lord say, Lust, Lust not, not after, after her beauty. beauty. Lust not after the beauty of a strange and flattering woman, man. Right? What? She gonna try to take you with her words like a damn serpent, man. You know what? I mean? Neither let her take deep with her island. They say to that man with his island. Brother, just cheesing damn ear to ear. He don't know why, man. Right? You know what? For by means of a horse woman, right, a man is brought to a piece of bread. That brother brought to a piece of damn bread. Brothers know that damn bread on the top of the deck. You trying to open the bread, you got the damn, uh, uh, what they call it, booty bread? Yeah, that first piece of slice of bread. You brought him down to that, man. He not even the damn good bread, man. You know what? And the adulteress will hunt for the precious light. And our adulteress will hunt for the precious light, man. You got some women out here that are just kind of laying, laying late, man. You got some women that's being raised by their mother on how to take an athlete, man. Right? Or how to take a baseball player. Right? Hey, you got to do this to me. Right? You got to kind of seduce them like this. Next thing you know, Jim child support $250,000 a month, man. That's Madness. Madness. Sadness. All right, read on. Can a man take fire in his bosom? Right. And his clothes be not burned? Right. Can one go up upon the hot coals and his feet not burn? Right. Can a man put fire in his damn coat and his coat don't catch on fire? Right. Can a man walk on hot coals and his feet not get hot? Read on. So he that goeth into his neighbor's wife, right. whosoever touches her, shall not be innocent. And you're not going to be innocent dealing with the so-called wife. Read that. Book of Cyrus, chapter 9, and verse 1. No. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom, and teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. Lord. Give not thy soul unto a woman to set her foot upon thy subject. Be not with the carmen, Let's thou fall into her snare. And that brother will fall into her snare. Kind of get chopped up. Let you know he in a damn basement somewhere, huh? Right? Get it chopped up by a damn beating. So he even wants to sadistic. At least he's a nice place, huh? Right? But you deal with this. Everybody seen the damn movie Get Out? Right? Who's that based on? Huh? Right? Saw it with thine own seed. Saw it with your own seed. Right? Saw it with your own seed. That's what you gotta do, huh? Right, we got a fruitful possession. We kind of find a nice Israelite woman, sow with your own seed, man. Make her, make her your, not these evil. Man. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. Trusting in the goodness of your stock. You know? So thy grace, so thy what? So thy grace, so thy grace, right? You know what? Which thou leavest shall be magnified. And you want your race to be magnified. Man. You want your nation to keep it to be magnified. Man. Right? Not give me a strength of the strength. Next thing you know, and what they want, uh, 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 they make so-called mixed babies, right? <laughs> they want mixed babies, man. Hey, guess what? After, after uh, uh, the eating my woman get that mixed baby, she gone. God. Right? She gone. And Jake left with child support, man. Right? Or Jake locked up because, hey, Jake hit her, right? And now she left with a mixed baby, and now she turning that baby boy into a little girl. Are you seeing it all the time in America, man? Right? right. 
moving on, having the confidence of their good descent. And we want to have the confidence of your good descent. So when your child look up and see two beautiful Israelite parents, and guess what? They're going to get them in the Israelite group. Because you see it all the time. Bro, when Jake get a damn Edomite woman, the son or, or the daughter grew up to get an Edomite man or woman. And the cycle continues over and over again. Right? You know what? And Harlan shall be accounted as spittle. Uh -huh. But a married woman is a tower is a tower against death to her husband. Uh -huh. The book of Proverbs, chapter 5, verse 15. Get out. Oh. Drink waters out of thy own sister. The Lord say, Drink waters out of thy own sister. Drink waters out of thy own sister. Yeah. Right? Drink waters out of thy own well. You know what I mean? Run waters out of thy own well, right? Let thy faults be dispersed abroad, right? The rivers of water and streets, right? That them is only thine own, and not strangers with thee. And not strangers with thee. Let them be your own, and not strangers with thee. Get these strangers out of your damn system, right? Get these strangers away from your will, because they're surely going to be. Deuteronomy 73, get out! Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Lord say, Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. No, I can't make marriage. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Stop making marriages with the heathen, man. Stop wiping up the heathen, man. Right? Lying with snakes, man. We know Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Right? For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other God. Right? So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly? And do what? And, and destroy, destroy thee suddenly. suddenly. The Lord will destroy thee suddenly, man. We got a lot of people playing with the Lord's mercy, man. Right? Talking about I can do what I want to do. It's my heart. Right? I feel like she loves me. Right? No, the Lord, the most I'm not dealing with any of that. He will destroy you suddenly. Go to Deuteronomy 7, verse 2. They don't know anything about the Lord. They don't know how the Lord gets down. Right? The Lord don't play, huh? Look at Deuteronomy 7 verse 10. Yo. And repayeth them that hate him to their face. And what? And, and repayeth them that hate him to their face. And repays them that hate them to their face, man. Me and the Lord roll up on you like this. Like, what's up, man? So right. what you been talking about? Ah. I'm with the so-called white man, right? And the Lord, hey, the Lord don't play, man. You don't get in your hey, You ever uh, had a brother in your face kind of steal and spin his damn face? The Lord don't play, man. You will get on, you get on. To destroy them. To do what? To, to destroy, destroy them. them. That's right. Right, read on. He will not be slack to him that hated him. Hey, meaning to talk about the Lord. Hey, he at your crib that night, man. Like, what's up, man? Right? Hey, he not slack. The Lord not waiting. The Lord not going to get him next week. Hey, the Lord said, where you at? I'm about to get him right now. Read on. He will repay him to his face. Hey, what'd he say? He, he will repay him to his face. face. The Lord said it a second time, just in case we didn't hear him the first time, man. He will repay you to your face, man. You better understand and read that. The book of Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 12. Bring it out. Now therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons. What the Lord say? Give, give not, not your daughters, daughters unto, unto their, their sons. sons. Give not your daughters unto their sons, you know? Neither take their daughters unto your sons, right? Nor seek their peace or their wealth. The Lord said, don't seek their peace, man. Stop trying to look after them, man. Hey, buddy, are you okay? Man, kick his ass down, man. Stop, stop seeking their peace, man. Right, read on. That ye may be strong. That you may be what? That, that ye may be, be strong. strong. If you seek their peace, they're going to be weak. If you don't seek their peace, they will be strong. You know? And eat the good of the land. Uh-huh. And leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. And we want to leave our land for an inheritance to our children forever. That's what we're trying to do. Right? Because if you get with a stranger, they go, hey, guess what? They're going to bring their people in, man. Right? Go to the book of Judges. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, go to the book of Judges. What you going to do? Up. Book of Joshua, chapter 23, and verse 7. No. And it reads, That ye come not among these nations, right. these that remain amongst you, neither make mention of their name, like neither make mention of the name of their God, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor by yourselves unto them, uh -huh. but cleave unto the Lord your God. What? But cleave, cleave unto the Lord your God. Your God. Cleave unto the Lord our God, huh? That's what we gotta do, huh? If you get with these different women, you gonna start cleaving to their God, man. Right. Next thing you know, you're gonna wake up in a damn toga and you're gonna and you're gonna look up, you're gonna like, damn, almighty Zeus. Right? <laughs> and you look the hell, next thing you know you believe in Poseidon, and you believe in all these different philosophies, man. Hanging with those strange nations, man. Right? Next thing you know, you're gonna be damn building beans in your house. You got a thousand beans in your house, you don't know why, man. 
right? Because he would be able to eat. All right, read on. Or that may be our slut. Slut. Can I hear us in the Biblia? Anybody? Always todos? Yeah. Uno momento. One scripture for Jesus Christ. Do a story on the Biblia. No! Oh, he said he like knowledge. Right? 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 Chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. What the Lord say about the Mexicans? For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. We're a holy people unto the Lord God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So you're a special people unto God. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're all special people unto God. We're not different. We do the same things. Yeah. We're part of the same people. Above all people. A what? Above, above all people. people. Hey man, we're above all people, huh? Right, man. Hey, there's nobody that works uh, uh, works as hard as the so-called man. I've never seen it, huh? Yeah. All they, they work, yeah. Huh? Yeah. And yeah. they work and they get what they need for their family, huh? Yeah. Hey, because the Lord said we're a holy people to so, yeah. Alright, read that for me. The book of first chronicle, chapter 12, and verse 32, right? Oh. The children of Issachar. And who? And the children of Issachar. The children of Issachar. This is your people. The Lord's about to say something about your people. Read on. Which were men that had understanding of the time. Which had men were understanding of the time. Why are you running the way, Caleb? Right? They predicted the end of the world. And guess what? They're not too far off, huh? And the Lord said they had understanding of the time. This is your people in the Bible. Right? This thousand years before. Read on. To know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200. Right, and we're, we're a warlike people, man. right? We're always a warlike people. You see the gangs today, man. They warring against each other. Man. They said, no, my blood, your blood. Right, they kind of hold up the flags. Hey, guess what? But we used to war in righteousness. We used to war for the most high God, man, as a nation of people. Right, right now we war against each other, right? Now you Mexican, I'm over here, you black, stay over there, man. But we used to all be a part of a uh, nation of people. Bring that. You good, no, you we are. That's what I'm saying, we the Israelites, man. Bro, we want to make what God's chosen for all of us, man. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 49. The Lord shall bring the nation against thee from blood. This is prophecy. This is what happened when our people broke God's commandments. The Lord brought a nation against us from blood. Right, let's talk about your people. Let's, let's see what happens, son. From the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle flying. So what happened to the now Latinos and Native Americans when they were over there on this land? You had one people come from boats. With, with, with the damn uh, um, Spaniard flag on there, and they came from far. You know what? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Because our people don't understand Spanish. They don't speak Hebrew, different dialects of Hebrew. Right? They didn't speak any of these different things. They didn't speak Spanish or English, but we don't understand their tongue. You know what? A nation of fierce, of fierce countenance, right? Which shall, know, which shall not regard the persons of old, nor show favor to the young. When they came over here, they killed the old people. They killed the young people. They gave up with smallpox blankets, right? Right, they gave out, they, they did all these different things. Cortez, the conquistadors, huh? Right, read on. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land. And they took all your land. They, they killed all the buffalo, right, read on. Until thou be destroyed. Until what? Until thou be destroyed. Now we working for them in America. That's right. Now, now we're destroyed now. Now we got work tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. And we don't get off until 1 a.m. Right? We're destroyed in this society because guess what? We broke God's commandments as his chosen people. Yeah, now we call yeah. ourselves Mexicans, Dominicans. Hey, we, we, hold on. Wouldn't the Lord give us those different names of the living God? Wouldn't the Lord say, I, I, I created the earth in seven days, right? And now y'all Mexicans. Right? I created all the nations and now y'all black people. The Lord never did that. The enemies put that on y'all. We the Israelites, of course, in the Bible. And as Israelites, I'm going to give y'all one more scripture. What is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13? There's one thing that we gotta know what we gotta do in this life. Jesus! I gotta shoot. I gotta, I gotta shoot. You can't walk away without knowing this. If you know your nationality, you just gotta know what you gotta do in these last days. You know? It's the book of Ecclesiastes, 
chapter 12 and verse 13. No. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's figure out why we out why we blistering in the cold. Right? Why we bring it out the Bible verse and it's damn 20 degrees outside. We know Fear God. Do what? Fear, Fear God. God. Fear, man. Fear, Fear God. God. Fear Keep his commandment. What? And, and keep, keep his, his commandment. Command. And what do we gotta do? Keep his commandment. Commanditos. All right, read on. For this is the whole duty of man. And this is why we on the earth. That's this right. Is we, start, right? That's right. right. we gotta keep God's commandments in these last days so we can get out of this predicament. Right? right? Hey. Come back as the Israelites, right? From the tribe of Issachar, I'll be you, and keep God's commandments. That's what we gotta do. You got any questions? Amen. All praise to the most high. All praise. praise. Love. Love. Love everybody, man. All praise. Thank you, thank you guys. Huh. Thanks a lot. All praise. Stop the show. Huh. All praise. You know what I'm saying? Right? Huh. All praise, man. Right? All praise. Huh. Huh. Bring it on the earth, man. Waking up this car these last days, man. Waking up this car these last days. Go to Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 4 and go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 25 verse 12. Because Esau can't get away, man. That's right. Yes, Esau right. cannot get away. God Come. cannot get away, man. All right? Read that. The book of Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 4. No. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Sorry, verse 3. Verse 3. Their slave also shall be cast up, right? And their stink shall come up out of their curse. Uh huh. And the mountains shall be built with their blood. And the white and the mountains shall be built with their blood. And the mountains are going to be melted with their blood. Right? These kingdoms are going to be melted with the so called white man's blood. Right? You know what? And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, right? And the heathen. And the who? And the heathen. And the heathen, right? These other nations, right? Read on. Shall be rolled together as a scroll. Uh huh. And all their hosts shall fall down, right? As the leaf falling up from the vine, right? As a falling fig from the fig tree. Uh huh. So my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down. It shall come what? It, it shall, shall come, come down, down upon Idumia. It shall come down upon Idumia, man. Oh, God. Right? The so-called white man, the Lord's sword is going to be bathed in heaven, man. It's going to get bad, man. And we've seen that right now. We've seen the prophecy. We see a famine kick off at a high rate right now. Ain't nothing in the grocery store, man. He saw a man. Russia said, I don't want to hear no more talks, man. It's over. Right? Y'all better give us something to write in this week before we invade in Ukraine, man. Ain't a damn thing y'all can do about it. You know what I mean? And upon the people of my curse to judge, right? The sword of the Lord. The what? The, the sword, sword of the Lord. Lord. The what? The, the sword, sword of the Lord. Lord. The sword of the Lord, read on. It's filled with blood. It's what? It's, it's filled, filled with blood. blood. The sword of the Lord is going to be filled with Catherine's blood. Right, right, right. 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 Your blood will be, on the, will be on the sword of the Lord. And a little. And there's no escape. Right. Read on. It is made fat, fat. Uh -huh. With the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, right? For the Lord has a sacrifice of us, and the Lord has a sacrifice of us to mom, eat, I do, you know what? And they bring slaughter in the land of I do, uh huh. And the unicorn shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls in their land shall be soaked. Blood. And their land is gonna be soaked with blood, man. America's gonna be soaked with blood. Y'all better get ready, man. Keep walking up and down Michigan Avenue, right? Have fun in this land. You only got about five years, right? Read on. Read that. Book. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25 and verse 12. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord who? Thus saith the, the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. You know what? Because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah. Edom has dealt against the house of Judah. Right, Jim Crow law, slavery against the blessed man and Native Americans, you know? Fight they consistent, right? And that's greatly offended and revenge itself upon them, right? 
Therefore, thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, read on. I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. The Lord said what? I will also stretch, stretch out my hand upon Edom. And they don't know what that means, man. When the Lord will stretch out his hand, that means like to whoop your ass, man. Right? Your mom ever stretch out her hand upon you, man? Your dad stretch out his hand on you, man? The Lord said, I'm about to stretch out my hand upon Edom, man. Read on. It will cut off man and beast from it. And he will cut off man and beast from tomorrow, you know what? And I will make you desolate with the mud, and they, and they of Eden shall fall by the sword. And they go, what? Shall fall, fall by the sword. sword. And they go, fall by the sword, man. Wow. That's what's going to happen. That's their judgment, man. That's, and, and guess what, man? And, and we love that thing, man. Right? We love that thing, you know what? And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom uh -huh. by the hand of my people Israel. By who? By, by the, the hand, hand of my people, people Israel. Israel. By the hand of my people Israel. What a wisdom of Solomon 5 and 20. Right? What did the Lord say? What a wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 20. Book of wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and verse 20. Yeah. His severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword. Right. And the, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. And the world shall fight with him against the unwise. Who's the unwise? Esau is the unwise. Yes, He's yes. that base man on the earth, man. Who's the world? Right? What is Isaiah 45 and 17, man? Right? We're going to find out who this world is that's going to fight against the unwise, man. Right? Against the basis of men. Right? The book of Isaiah, chapter 45 and verse 17. Yeah. But Israel. But who? But, but Israel. Israel. Who's that world? But, but Israel. Read on. Shall be saved in the Lord right. with an everlasting salvation. Uh -huh. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. What the Lord say? World without end. end. Right? We the world without end that's going to fight against the, uh, uh, the unwise. Right? right? And we read it, man. It's written. And it's going to happen. We just patiently waiting for it. Right? Jump up to verse 1. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 verse 1. Right. Yeah. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. Right. For the face of such as have afflicted him uh -huh. made no account of his labor. Right. If they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Come on, what the hell? What are these UFOs saving black people for? Why are they here destroying America? What the hell is happening, man? Why are these people being, getting beamed up? What about us? Right? Read on. So far beyond all they that all that they look for. And they're not looking for the blood spirits of Native Americans to, enter, uh, to leave this world, man. They're not looking for that, man. They're looking for us to be niggas here forever. All right, you know what? And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. And they're going to repent and groan for anguish of spirit, man. They're going to be like, what the hell, man? We didn't know. You know what? Shall say within themselves. What, what are these Edomites going to say within themselves? You know what? This was he who we had some time we, we was laughing at this man right here. He's the son of God. How did we not know? Oh, man. Damn. You know what? And a proverb of reproach. Right? We fools accounted his life mad. What the Lord say? We oh, fools oh, accounted oh, his oh, life mad. And at, the, and at that day, they're going to acknowledge themselves to be the face of man. They're going to call themselves fools. We're not going to have to do it, man. They're going to say, we fools, man. Idiots. I'm a face of man. Right? We counted his life mad. What did Jeremiah 16 write to the book of Job, chapter 18 and verse 8. No. For he is cast into a net by his own feet. Right. And walked upon a stair. Right. Hey, hey, guess what? They cast into a net by their own feet and they walk into their own trap. Man. You know what? The gin shall take them by the heel. Right. And, and the robber shall prevail against him. Uh -huh. The snare is laid for him in the ground. Right. And a trap for him in the way. Right. Terror shall make him afraid on every side. Terror is going to make this man afraid on every side. Uh -huh. Read on. It shall drive him to his feet. Uh -huh. His strength shall be hunger, hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. Right. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. Damn, uh -huh. more cold, man. Read on. His confidence shall be rooted out of all his tabernacles. What the Lord say? His confidence shall be rooted out of all his tabernacles. And the so-called white man got so much confidence right now. 
Oh. They got a lot of confidence, man. Right? They, they think they can do anything they damn want to, man. Right? They think they're a god, man. But the wars in the conference are going to be rooted out. Go to Psalm chapter 35 and start at verse 2. Right? Psalm chapter 35 and verse 2. 19, you read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 19. Yeah. Oh Lord, my strength and my fortune, right? And my refuge in the day of affliction, right? The Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth. These Gentiles will come from the, come to the Lord from the ends of the earth. They gonna be coming from down Australia. They gonna be coming all the way down from the end of this world, in Europe. They gonna be coming all the way to Israel to say what? Hey, brother, the nice hat. What's going on? Right. You believe in God? What's your nationality? Huh? Kenyan? Oh, it's not for you. It's not for you. What are we doing? He shall say, surely our fathers have inherited lives. What are they going to say? Surely our fathers have inherited lives. Him, you know, our fathers inherited lives, man. You talking about we not the white Jews? White? Damn, I'm, I'm not a white. I'm an Edomite. Right? What the hell? Right? That's what they're going to be saying to the Lord. These are the real Jews, man. Right? They can be hell. Vanity, things are in. There is no problem. And in that time, they're going to understand what they learned was vanity. Huh? Right? They're going to learn that it was vanity and it was no profit because we ain't a real Jew. Right? And they're going to understand that in that time. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and verse 3. Draw out also the spear and stop, and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto me, like say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Right? Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. The Lord said, let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after our soul, man. They seek after our soul. They trying to take your mind away with damn TV, hip hop, all these different guns and all these they, they, they trying to take away your soul, man. But the Lord said, let them be confounded that you get, you know? Let them be turned back and brought to confusion, right? That divides my heart. Uh huh. Let them be as chaff before the wind, right? Let the angel of the Lord chase them. And let the angel of the Lord chase these people, man. Right? I want the angel of the Lord chasing these Edomites all up and down, man. Wow. Right? And that damn, you look like Asian, man. That damn wow. Ammonite, man. Trying to keep up with the damn white man. Right, read on. Let their way be dark and slippery, right? And let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Uh -huh. For without cause have they hit for me to their net in a pit. And they, without cause, they hit their net for us in the pit, man. They try to trap us up for no damn reason. All the time. But guess what's gonna happen, read on? With without cause, they have digged for my soul. Read on? Let destruction come upon him. And, and unaware, and that's gonna happen, read on? And let his net that be hit. It's the book of Amos. Chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it up. Oh, Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel. Hey, the Lord's gonna do this to Israel, man. Read on. And because I will do this unto thee. And because the Lord's gonna come with mystery. And because the Lord's gonna come with judgment, fire, famine, sword, pestilence, tribulation. The Lord's coming with all these different things because he will do this unto you. Read on. Prepare to meet thy God. What the Lord say? Prepare to meet thy God. Prepare to meet thy God. Oh Israel, oh, oh Israel, oh Israel, oh Israel, oh Israel, to America, 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 to Right? And everybody glorified the star. They, hey, man, worship the star. And stars are not even clean in God's sight. You know? How much less man? What did the Lord say? How, How much, much less, less man? man? How much less is man? Right? Man is nothing before the Lord, man. Right? We go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and verse 3. No! I did not, right? Yeah, the stars are not pure in his sight. Even the stars are not pure in God's sight, man. Even the stars, right? And everybody glorify the star. Hey, hey, man, worship the star. And stars are not even clean in God's sight, man. You know? 
How much less man? How, what the Lord say? How, how much, much less, less man? man? How much less is man? Right? Man is nothing before the Lord, man. Right? We Book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, and verse 3. No! Oh.